Hello, hello everybody. How are you doing today? I hope that you are doing well. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Ali. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at um, who are you destined to be with? So I already have these piles prepared. I decided to do it that way today. So please start to look at the pile and choose which one um, is appropriate for you. I also wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who has been liking, sharing, and subscribing. It does mean so much to me. Um, if, of course, this is a general reading, so the only way you can really get a personalized reading is to book a personalized um, reading yourself. So you can do so at www.readingswithrally.com. Also, last thing, my puppies are both awake, so you might see them running around, okay? So I'm going to go ahead here and show you the piles. We have three piles to choose from. Pile one. Pile two. and pile three. If you do need some more time, please do pause the video here. I'm gonna go ahead though and start with pile number one. Oh, I also wanted to say before I go on to that, there will be an extended for each um, for each group. So of course, if that resonates, those links will be down below as well. Okay, so let's go ahead here and get started. Am I out of frame here? Perfect. Okay. Hello, hello, pile number one. If you chose this sushi, then this is your reading on, uh, look how cute that is, I didn't even see that, on who are you destined to be with? So let me go ahead here and tap into the energy. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please tap me into the energy of the collective who chose pile number one. Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for them so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we are so grateful to you. Um, we just wanted to say a big thank you. So thank you for coming through for us today. By the way, I purchased these because I thought that they were going to be magnets, but it turns out they are not magnets. They're just little sushis. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead here and start with tarot as usual. So pile number one, who are you destined to be with? Let's take a look here. First card, three of cups. We have the four of pentacles. We have the chariots and we have the moon. Wow. Okay. So right off the bat, um, we have cancer energy twice. So you or this person could be a cancer, sun, moon, or rising. This person may start off as a friend or you may meet them here in your friend group. I do feel here like there's a sense of um, possibly building a friendship with this person over a long period of time. For some of you, this person does feel like they're culturally different or like they come from somewhere else. I do feel someone here who is olive skin or darker. I feel on, this person is a little bit hard to read. They have a very high level of emotional sensitivity. I also feel like this person has gone through quite a lot. Um, they could be quite intuitive themselves, but I, I feel like there's a part of this person that is very protective of their own heart space. This person sometimes has a hard time opening up and allowing other people in or allowing other people to um, really uncover the truth of their heart or their soul. I feel this person could have had a string here of like just dating, not nothing very serious. This person is very protective of their heart space. I feel a very strong intuitive connection between you and this person. It's very likely that you guys will be like, um, what is the word here? It's likely that you guys will be like dreaming about this person or really feeling very close to this person before you actually meet them. This is a very um, attractive person, but I feel this person's private. So I don't really feel like they were going to let on exactly what they, they want. They could be a little bit private or maybe not want to share as much with you as perhaps you would like them to. I like this person's energy, but I feel like they're a bit hard to read. And I feel even for, for you guys, you'll be surprised that this person likes you. Remember too that energies here can be flipped. So this could be you I'm talking about as well. This person's hard to, they have a hard time opening up. Let's see, we have grounded, oops. This card says, keep to your roots and stand taller than the trees. So this person could um, really like to be grounded. They could have earth in their chart as well. This person I feel um, is very much a person who likes to be alone. They could be a bit of an introvert, honestly. I think this person needs a lot of alone time in order to feel um, grounded or happy. You might find that this person that does need to take some time away from you. Again, they could have Earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We have action. 
I feel this person has quite an athletic frame or there's something athletic about their body. They could like to work out or value their health. This person, um, I do feel, has a pretty high sex drive, but I'm not really getting a lot of feelings that they have towards like dating people legitimately, right? Like I feel like they're more prone to one night stands because they're scared. This person is really scared of being vulnerable. And again, remember energies can be flipped. So I could also be talking about you if cornucopia. This person has a lot of um, financial support here as well. They do have a lot of money. They could really help you as well um, achieve some sort of a goal or a dream here. This person, um, again, I'm feeling health conscious here. I think this person likes to take care of their body. They could like to eat really well. For some of you, you might meet this person through your work. I feel this person's very action oriented here as well. They like to get what they want. Um, and so they are really prone to putting in a lot of hard work here because this person values coming out on top. Some of you, this person could be mixed. We have two horses here and two horses here. So perhaps this person does have an affinity for horses or you do. But again, it's interesting that they're a white and black horse. I'm getting a very like balance. This person is balanced good. It, they balance you out is what I'm getting. We have indecision. This person though has fear. They do have fear. They're not necessarily a person who's very open and honest. Um, they have a longing here for a, a, for a deep connection, but part of them feels scared about actually allowing that. I feel you and this person do have a soul contract. So I think that there's going to be a feeling here of like almost a past life connection. We have one plus seven is eight and we also have eight here. So this person could be a life path eight. Someone could be born in August or on the eighth of a month as well. You could meet this person in August or on the eighth of a month. Like I said, I think this person has had a habit here of dating other like multiple people at the same time, not really figuring out what they want to do. For some of you, this person could even be like just casually dating you to start because they could be really investing in other connections um, at the same time. We have wealthy man. Okay, so we've established here that this person has a lot of money. I do feel this person is quite successful. They value money. They value success. This person really um, seems to be feeling like that is something that is important for them. I feel this person works very, very hard, but I am getting a bit of bitterness around their job right now. Again, take the roles. They could be reversed. This could be you. Um, I feel this person is really starting to realize that wealth doesn't really mean anything unless you have someone to share it with. So there's definitely sadness with this person or a little bit of like heaviness that they're feeling, but they do have money. This person has money. They value money. Um, they're not ashamed of that either. I feel this person could have worked really hard to get to where they are, they're at. Mm. I did just hear immigration. So for some of you, this person could have immigrated from a different country. They could be a first or second generation immigrant. This person has a lot of people watching them here as well. I heard envious. So I feel even your connection, when you start to date this person, there could be a high amount of people who are really watching you guys. We have gift. Wow. Again, one plus seven is eight. Interesting. This person could be born on the 17th. Okay. Or there could be like an eight year difference between you guys. I think this person really does care about finances. They're going to want to shower you here with gifts. This person's love language could be gifts. So you could be expecting um, a lot of like uh, presents or this person will let you know that they care for you because they're going to constantly be giving you presents here. This person, um, I feel like they like to dress well. They have a really good sense of style. This person could like the finer things in life. A little bit of a, like a luxury person, okay? But I feel this person like deserves the success. This doesn't feel like a lazy person. I do feel this person has worked really hard to get to where they're at. Okay, their surrender card is this. Surrender out outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. Um, I just heard the name John, so for some of you, this person could be a John or Jonathan or a Johnny, Joanna. Um, Jays could be important here. Joshua, Jessica. So this person is changing. There's something about this person's life right now where they are kind of changing something about the way they're seeing themselves. Even with that indecision card, I do feel like this person is realizing, you know, like maybe they're not necessarily very happy doing what they were doing. Maybe this person is really desiring more of a connection or a commitment. And they're really feeling like um, they need to kind of 
step up if they want that in their life. This person has impeccable taste here too. They could have like a tourist placement here. I'm getting someone very interested in food, luxury, beauty. This person quite attractive here as well. I just saw fish, so this person could um, be a pescatarian. They could um, come from a fisherman background. This person could also be a Pisces. Okay, we have fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay, so this person, like I said, there is something here that's weighing on their mind with that indecision and that fear. Even you might find this person pulling their energy back um, every once in a while from you. I think this is because this person is really working hard to sort of step out of their comfort zone. This person does want love and I feel like they're realizing how maybe the way that they're living is not conducive to love. Wow, we have gratitude, beautiful. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. This person and you, I feel like you will activate their heart chakra quite a lot. I honestly think this is going to be like um, surprising to them. I don't think this person expected to meet someone like you for some reason. Um, and they're gonna be very, very grateful. Some of these, the, the characteristics here, this person could have a little bit of facial hair. They could have thick or wavy hair. Again, I'm getting someone who is olive skin or darker, pop, maybe even mixed, um, healthy, a healthy body here. I am feeling like this person really values health. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get some of my lovely, excuse how dirty this bag is, um, channeled messages from this person. Spirit, can we get some channeled messages here from Pile One's um, destined person here? What would this person say? What do they have to say right now? What would this person want to say? I just heard Fortune 500. I don't even know what that means. I think that's like, um, this person could work for like a very exclusive company here. They seem interested in cars, um, money. Could even be investing or crypto here as well. Tell me more. Okay, thank you. Let's take a look here. What does this person have to say? Hey, we have, I have a larger frame. You could call me a teddy bear. So this person might be a bit on the larger side. Could be something bulky about their frame or attractive here about their frame. We have, I love your legs. So this person very sexually attracted to you. They like your legs. They like the way that you look. This one has so much coffee on it. But this says, I act like a, this connection isn't a big deal, but I can't stop thinking about it. So this person will be very um, much feeling like, you know, this is a very significant connection to them, whether they're able to share that or not they do feel very strongly attached to you. Oh my gosh, we have, I'm grounded. You guys, we have grounded twice. Down to earth and I like nice things. Interesting. This person could have some earth placements. I do feel that. Um, this is you people jealous. I'm not sure what that was supposed to say, but I was picking up envy here. So that would go along with that. What is about this one? Destructive. This person I think is really getting ready here to turn a corner. They might have to let something go. I love to be outdoors and in nature. Again, something I picked up. I do feel this person likes to um, spend time outside. Again, they could be a bit of an introvert too. You truly changed my life. So you really will make a big impact on this person. We have sexy. So this person could be feeling like you're very sexy. Okay. Or they could be feeling like, um, you know, you might find this person very sexy. I mean, I would hope so. I'm currently deeply hurt, sad, or grieving. So I, like I said, I feel this person's going through something right now, you guys. It's like they're letting go of something, they're transforming. Something is changing in this person's life at this particular time. I don't know what it says, sorry, it's ripped. I wanna hug and hold you. Yeah, this person like really has a soft spot for you which is funny because I don't feel like they don't, they have a soft spot um, for a lot of people. We have my intentions are not good. So this person could have a habit here of um, being with multiple women at once or multiple men. Take it as it resonates. We have second chance. So for some of you, you might already know this person. This person could be really wanting to come back in and have a second chance with you. So yes, pile one, that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for, um, for you know, being part of this reading. I appreciate you so much. I do want to say here that there will be an extended. So if this resonated, that extended link is down below. Um, a big thank you to you for, for um, watching this video. Please make sure to like and comment and subscribe if it does resonate. I'd love to hear if you know about this person, if you know who this person might be. 
and I just wanted to say have a wonderful day. Um, I really do hope that you have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Let me get the sushi out of the way. Okay. So hello, hello, pile number two. If you chose this um, genie lamp, this is actually an, an incense burner, so they say. Um, welcome to your reading. So let me go ahead and tap in. So spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please tap me into the collective here that chose pile number two. Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile number two so that they can have the best reading possible. As always, we just wanted to say a big thank you to you for your clarity, for your kindness, um, and just for leading the way and showing us the truth of a situation. We have nothing here but gratitude for you, and we just wanted to say thank you. Okay, so pile number two, let's take a look at your person. Um, for some of you, this person could be a wish come true, literally because of the genie. I'm going to start here with um, Tara, which was at the bottom here. All right, let's take a look. Tell me, spirit, tell me what we need to know here about this person. Ten of Wands, okay the star, knight of cups, queen of swords. Okay. So this person could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, sun, moon, or rising, or that could be, of course, your signs. I do feel like there could be an age difference here as well. That's quite marked or um, quite significant for some of you. With the star there, I feel this person has at least some sort of um, Aquarius placement. Again, either sun, moon, or rising. This person very, very interested in making a splash, moving things forward, and creating positive changes in their life. They could be a bit of a visionary here as well. Sorry, there's a garbage truck. I'm just going to pause while it passes. Those things are so loud. I feel this person is actually going through a period of their life where they are feeling very overburdened. There's a sense of exhaustion with this person. This person really feeling like they just don't know what to do next. They could be feeling very tired um, about like what they're doing physically for work. Again, this person could very much feel like they are really reaching an end, uh, like an end of their rope situation here. For some of you, when you meet this person, there's an energy here of you being a little bit closed off to this person you might not really want to be very um, open with them in the beginning I feel for some of you you just kind of want to keep this person a little bit at bay perhaps you don't trust them or perhaps you don't feel like they are um, a good person for you to be around this person is very persistent they are very intelligent very free thinker um, quite interesting I think this person's pretty interesting honestly Again, this person could really be coming out of like a difficult time or feeling like they've been overburdened. So let's see what else we can get. We have path. Wander on the path less traveled. What you find might surprise you. It's funny because I was just looking at that 10 of wands. This person could really like to travel um, or you could meet this person when you're traveling. This person could be foreign to where you live. For instance, they could come from a foreign country. I feel like this person and you will meet up because it's part of your path here, honestly, with that path card. This is a person who you're meant to be with on some level. So there's really going to be a strong sensation of coming together with this person, feeling very much like you guys are on the same boat or on the same page. This person will surprise you. There's like, there's a lot of layers to this person. They're a bit like an onion. Let's see here, hostilities. So interesting because I, I did feel like when you met this person, there could be a little bit of like um, coldness between you guys. Perhaps this person really does not grind your gears in the right way or there's an energy of like you really not liking them, honestly. This person could come across, um, they could rub you the wrong way when you first meet, which is funny because this is who you're destined to be with. At the same time, this person could have had um, a lot of ups and downs in their own life. They could have been presented with scenarios here where they really felt like they needed to make a difference or make a turn um, towards a positive direction here. This person could feel stuck. They could have felt stuck or a little bit confused in their life right now. Again, exhaustion is a real thing here with this individual. We have magician and the mirror. Wow. This person is doing some major healing here. This person could be interested in magic. I feel like there could be a very old or ancient connection between you and this person, even with the map. This person might come um, from, you know, a different country than you, but also I feel like there could be like a past life here in um, Egypt or in the desert somewhere because I feel like this person is an old soul. 
Uh, honestly, I really do. And I just have to say, I was picking up an age difference from the get-go. So for some of you, this person could be substantially older than you. We have door to value. Wow, holy smokes. I think you and this person might start a business together. There's a sense of collaboration. This person really cares about um, what you think. They really want you to feel happy and secure in yourself. So this person, I think, would not be above um, really trying to get financially stable here. We have four, five plus three is eight. So um, this person could be a life path eight or four, or you could be. I think this person really valuing money. They could be an entrepreneur or have an entrepreneurial mindset. Oh my God, shut up. We have pathway and path. I just got the goosebumps. Oh my God. And look, we have five, three, 35, we had 53 here. You and this person um, could resonate here with uh, twin flames, okay? Uh, that's crazy that we have path. I swear I don't look at this card. So it's really interesting to have path twice. I feel like you and this person are going to be um, obviously on each other's path. Again, you might run into this person on a path or like in a provincial or a national park community. Interesting. This person really values their community. They could have a lot of people that they help. Um, I just heard of volunteer as well. This person could be a very strong volunteer or like to volunteer or take care of people around them. This person could have a lot of siblings. I just heard Matt. This person could start having M name, Matt, Michelle, um, Michael, Maurice, Mona, Mandy. I don't know. There's something here with this person taking care of other people. They very much care um, for the people around them. Let's see what's going on in this person. Okay, you guys, we have surrendered to your soul's path. We have path three freaking times. I can't even get over that. That's like actually crazy. I have goosebumps. Okay, so I want to pick this pile for myself. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> Spirit, can, can this please be my pile? Okay, so this says, um, surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. So this person really feeling here like... Um, they are trying to make a difference. This person very much desiring to change. They are feeling here like they need to change something about where they're at or even what they're doing. So this kind of change in this person's circumstances could be the thing that brings the two of you together. We have health. I will honor the physical um, vessel that enshrines my soul. This person um, really values their health. They could have quite a, um, a nice body. I feel this person's quite fit naturally. Like I don't feel like this is like a a bulker or anyone who goes to the gym to like bulk up. I just feel this person has a very naturally beautiful frame. They could have a very nice body. Um, very attractive person. Chiseled. I just heard chiseled. This person could have prominent cheekbones, jaw, or like, uh, what is that called? Collarbone. We have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. You guys, this person has been through a lot, like a lot. And I feel like that's something that will really um, draw you towards this person. Okay, I am going to pull some channeled messages here from my bag of tricks. Okay, spirit. Let's talk about pile number um, pile number two here. What would their person say to them? Their person they're destined to be with. What would this person say? Tell me what this person has to say. I'm noticing all the greens here too. So I feel like this person um, could have a very, either a very active heart chakra or a very blocked heart chakra. This person could need some help opening up their heart chakra. This will be a very heart-based connection here as well. This person could tend to hide um, a little bit of what they're feeling though sometimes. I do think I do get that. One more please. Thank you. Okay. Let's take a look here. I'm grounded down to earth and like nice things. So this person could have some earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I do feel this person's quite calm. I don't think that this person is like, yeah. I feel, I feel a calm presence from them. What does this say? This one's kind of broken, but I think it's supposed to say you have healed me. All I see is that healed two to four weeks. Okay. For some of you, you could meet this person quickly here. Okay. Um, or things could move really quickly. For some of you, I did think that was going to say two to four years. So this person could be two to four years older than you. Okay. We have, I want to express myself fully, but my throat chakra is blocked. So I don't necessarily feel like this person is that comfortable sharing or opening up the truth of what it is that they want to share or um, give to you. I feel this person can be a little bit scared, scared of being hurt, scared of being let down. 
Wait, this says, I thought about taking a trip with you, but it's broken. So this person, again, could come from a different country. You guys could travel quite a lot together. We have addicted to sex. This person could have a very high sex drive. They could really value sex. We have, I wear glasses. So you or this person could wear glasses here. I do feel there's going to be something very, like, um, nostalgic when you meet this person. You'll feel like you already know this person. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, you have healed me. There it is. I knew that's what that said. So this person and you will really have a very um, healing connection. We have, I can be a bit of an introvert, but I am always paying attention. Interesting. Okay. This person could be a bit of an introvert, but they do always keep their eye on you. They very much want to know what you're up to, what you're doing, what you're thinking about. This person is very obsessed with that part of you. We have, I've written you several texts, but in the end I chicken out. So this person, again, could be feeling very much like um, they don't know what to say to you. This person could have troubles expressing themselves. And we did get the throat chakra, the blocked throat chakra. So I'm seeing that kind of being echoed here as well. I can be aggressive and loud, but secretly I'm a big suck. So again, this person could be um, like a bit out there, honestly. And I feel on this person very much wants to, I don't know, like protect themselves. They don't like when people get too close to them. I only want you for physical reasons. I definitely don't think that that's true, but you and this person could have a very active sex life. Or again, this person could be very sexually, um, I don't know, like they could be very sexually open with what it is that they want. Um, so yes, pile two, that is what I have for you today. I just wanted to say a big thank you for you guys um, for watching this video there's going to be an extended here as well so if this video resonates at all you can um, watch that extended the links will be down below i just wanted to say a big thank you to you for tuning in i hope that you have a very wonderful day wherever you are i am just um, really hoping for the best for you for you to be safe and happy and healthy okay have a great day bye, -bye. okay let's see here Oh, Pile 3 is so freaking cute. I love that little sushi. One second. Okay. Hello, hello, Pile 3. How are you doing today? Um, if you've made it to this point, welcome. This is your reading. So let me go ahead here and tap into your energy. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please tap me into the collective that chose pile number three. Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile number three so that we can have the best possible reading. We're so grateful to you for your guidance. We just wanted to say a big thank you. Um, you mean so much to us, and we, we just we have a lot of appreciation for you. So thank you so much. Okay, so pile number three. I'm going to go ahead here and start with your tarot, which is at the bottom. Let's take a look here. Who are you destined to be with pile number three? Let's see. Two of cups. Okay, so definitely soulmate bond right off the bat. We have the lovers. We have judgment. We have the eight of swords. Okay. So this person could be a Gemini, sun, moon, or rising, or you could have the Gemini placements here in your own chart. What do I want to tell you about this person? Well, right off the bat, this person could have low key or high key anxiety, or of course, this could be you. This person could be going through some major shifts right now in their life. I feel like um, when you first meet this person, you might stereotype them. This person could have something that's very um, over the top about them. But what is really hiding is the fact that this person has a lot of emotional depth. I think sometimes that gets hidden behind their anxiety. This person's name could be Ethan. We could have Emily here. There could be an E, a significant E name here. I can't think of any other E's. <laughs> Emmanuel, Esther. Emma, um, this person really is at a point right now in their life where they are changing quite a lot. I feel like this person is very much feeling stuck. They feel like they need to make some sort of a major shift. They feel very much like they are under fire for something here. This person wanting to make changes, wanting to make splashes, wanting to really create um, differences here in their life. But again, feeling a bit anxious, feeling a bit like they're not entirely sure if they'll be able to do what they need to do here. This is your soulmate. This person as well could be um, a different race or background from you. I'm noticing with the hands here. Let's take a look here. What else do we need to know? Attachment. Interesting. This person really wrestling right now to let something go. Okay. Um, I'm seeing the five here. This person could be going through a lot of changes right now that are really making them feel quite, quite hard to um, focus on. 
This person could be feeling very sad. They could be feeling like they're needing to let something go. This person could be having a lot of changes around them or they could have had a lot of changes happen recently. We have a woman holding a coin. And I'm also have this one, the sun. So the sun always is the happiest card of the deck for me. This person could have Leo, sun, moon, or rising. I do feel here like this person very much um, will bring a lot of happiness to your life. I just feel like there's going to be a lot of gratitude here. I'm seeing a lot of two, two, twos here as well. So you can really start to see two, two, two as like a repeating number code when you're about to meet this person. You can meet this person in the summer here as well. We have one, we have four plus two, which is six and five. So those could be your life paths or the months that you meet, which is January, um, May, and we also have June here as well. I think this person has really um, uh, overcome a lot. So this person could have a very um, positive attitude or be very openly like, I don't know, gentle or sweet, but there's a part of this person that definitely needs, has been through like quite a big or substantial change in their life. They do feel here like they would love to um, share that with somebody, but this person could be a bit anxious about allowing someone in. We have growth. The tallest oak tree once started as a seedling. Don't be afraid to start something new. So this person could be really feeling here like they have to start from scratch. They're rebuilding. They could um, have had some sort of um, injury here as well to their neck. Okay, I don't know why that came through, but they did. Where someone here has a really stiff neck. This person, I think, starting from scratch, really trying to figure out what do they want to do? How do they want to create their lives? What do they want going forward? So they're definitely in this process or this time where they're processing a lot or they're thinking quite a lot here as well. We have occupation. This person could really value their work or they could be in the process here of changing jobs right now. They could be really trying to, to um, change something about the work that they do. I do feel like their work has afforded them quite a comfortable lifestyle though. I don't think that this is a bomb off the street by any means. I think this person does have some money. Wow, yeah, look at this, unexpected income, that's interesting. So this person could have had some sort of a change in income. Somebody, maybe this person has won the lottery or um, come into some money through through a, like an inheritance, something unexpected though. I feel this person really wrestling here. Like I feel like they were, were doing something. It's almost like, okay, this person was doing something for work that they really thought was gonna be it, but now they're realizing that they don't actually wanna do that anymore. That's kind of the energy I'm getting. So this person definitely feeling um, like they are, are, they're shifting here. Let's see what this person needs to surrender. We have surrender to wonder and awe, open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow, okay? This person changing a lot, they're shifting a lot as well. They're really feeling like they are getting um, out of this time here of difficulty and stepping into more of a time here of expansion. This person trying to open up their heart to magic, to happiness, to new things here as well. They want so desperately to be um, like, swept up in life again. I feel this person has been feeling kind of like dull. Perhaps this person has been struggling here with anxiety or depression. For some of you, this person could be on antidepressants or some sort of medication, even for their neck, because I am getting some sort of physical issue here as well. What else here? We have success. I know that there's no greater goal than to love. So again, this person could be really feeling here like, you know what? I've worked really hard. I've got, tried to get ahead. I've tried to do what I needed to do here in terms of success, but this is not the be all and end all for me. I do need to kind of approach um, things in a different way. So this person could really be feeling like, I want, I want something else or I want something else or, you know, money is not just the main thing for me. I want to truly be happy. Like I am feeling this person's energy kind of a bit like that. Wow, we have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So here's the thing. This person's removing themselves from some sort of an attachment. I do feel they really are trying to kind of um, create a new life for themselves in some capacity. This person really wanting to move things forward. They want to feel healthy. They want to feel aligned. They want to feel like they are able to move things, um, able to move things forward in a healthy, in a healthy way. And I feel like this is something that they're really struggling with right now. Let me, could, this person could have something very significant about their voice is also something I'm hearing. Let me go ahead and tap. I'm going to get some channel messages from the bag for them. All right, Spirit, tell me more about this person. What do we need to know about this person, please, Spirit? What do we need to know about this person, please, Spirit? What do we need to know about this person? 
Tell us about this person, please, for pile number three. Tell us about this person for pile number three. Oh, what does this person want? Tell me about this person, please, for pile number three. I'm going to do one more here. Okay, let's take a look here. What can we know about this person, please? Yeah, but I'm really jealous and I hate it when you get attention from other people. Okay, this person could have a jealous streak. Um, they could really be very much um, observant of your behavior here as well. I'm coming back from your past. I don't know what it is, but I can't get away from this connection. So for some of you, you already know this person. I want to spoil you with everything you could ever want. Gift giving is important to me. So this person could have the, um, what is it called? The love language of giving gifts. They could really desire to make you feel special through gift giving or this person really wanting to prioritize you um, through gifts. I have dimples. It's my best feature. Beautiful. So for somebody, this person has dimples or a very, um, very, very charming smile. Like there's something very significant about their smile. I feel pressured to make a decision. That's interesting here too, because I do feel this person's letting something go right now. What else here? We have, I'm ashamed of some of my fantasies I never had a chance to explore. This person could have very heavily um, sexual fantasies or could very much desire a beautiful sexual connection. They could be feeling a bit stuck though or scared or like this is not gonna happen for them. Definitely feeling like this person is wanting to change, wanting to grow, wanting to really open up to um, allowing life in, allowing happiness in, but feeling quite closed off. We have, I'm well-traveled and I like to explore new things. So this person, again, could be quite well-traveled. They could come from a different place altogether. There's an energy of this person really being very, um, someone who really like has had a lot of experience in life, but I feel like this person does mask this anxiety um, quite a lot as well. One more, please tell me. Wow, we have lots of external factors are complicating this connection. So for you guys who chose this pile, you will have to be patient, I feel, with this person. Okay, I do think that things could take a little bit of time. So yes, pile one, that is what, oh, sorry, pile one, that's weird. I don't know why I said that. Pile three, that is what I have for you. There will be an extended to this. The timestamps for that will be down below. I just wanted to say a big thank you for those of you who have been here um, since the beginning and everyone who is new here. It means so much to me. Have a wonderful day. I'm wishing you a lot of health and safety and love and beauty. Um, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.